Hey, welcome to Ridge Kids Online. We hope that you enjoy this video. Do you know what this means? This is important. Do you know what this means? You want to quit your job and become a sculptor? No. You're going to hit me in the face with that. No. This mountain shape reminds you of a close encounter you had with visitors from another planet, and just looking at it makes you want to somehow some way, find your way back to that place so that your mind can finally be at peace? No. It means I like mashed potatoes a lot. Oh. And also the second thing. And that's how I got rid of the squirrel smell. It was that easy. <laughs> Oh, hey, everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So-and-So Show. Hey, today we've got a very special game to play. John! I'm Brandon. Uh, yes? <gasps> You've got to come with me at once. And who are you? Oh, of course, uh, apologies. Yeah. I am Doc Tan oh, at your service. Well, welcome to the show, Doc. What kind of a doctor are you? Never mind. Listen, your studio is in danger. Danger? 
Yes, I've come from the past. You what? Travel through time to get to you. I have waited my entire life for somebody to say that to me. Am I dreaming? Ouch! You're supposed to pinch yourself to see if you're dreaming, not someone else. Oh. Ow! Um, listen, we are wasting time here. Uh, Your younger selves are about to turn this basement into an arcade. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. No, 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 not cool. Because if it turns into an arcade, then it will never become a studio. And the so-and-so show will never exist. Oh, oh, ha, 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 ha. It's time. I have set this alarm to precisely 17 seconds before we need to leave. Oh. Now, put these on. Oh. oh. Quickly, okay, okay. Cool. quickly! Uh huh, uh huh. Right. Here we go. Okay. Grab my hands. Uh -huh. right. John, huh? press the button for us. No! No! The John and Brandon Show, episode one, take one, marker. Okay, go. You're supposed to say action. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Action. Not now, John, we've already ruined this take. Oh, so uh, start over? Yeah, here, let me do it. The John and Brandon Show, episode one, take two, marker. Action. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Sorry. What are we doing, Brandon? We don't know anything about making a, a show. I know, but I thought it would be fun to make your basement into a studio. Yeah, but it's, it's too hard. Let's try something else, something easy. Like an arcade? Like an arcade! Oh. Do I know you? You seem familiar. Uh, yes, I, I am. How do I explain this without altering the entire course of my life? It's you, your future self, all grown up. See, the hairline, the baggy eyes, the wrinkly lips. Okay, <laughs> I'm not that old, but he's right, kid. I am you. Cool. Super cool. So what happens? Do I become an astronaut, an, an actor, an underwater uh, drummer? Oh, I totally forgot about underwater drumming. No, no, no. But uh, you know what? I really don't want to tell you everything that happens because if I do, it'll ruin half the fun of your journey. Uh, uh, well, let's just say that this basement comes in real handy. Ah, the arcade. I knew yeah. that was a good idea. Actually, not the arcade. A studio. Nah, we already tried that, it's too hard. Oh, well, hey, at least you tried. Yeah. Yeah. No, hold on, you, you can't give up on something just because it's hard. You, yeah. You've gotta keep going. Yeah, because there are things that happen to you in the future that you don't know about yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah like uh, if you don't keep going, then you're gonna miss out on some of the, the greatest things that have ever happened to you. Like, mm -hmm. you'll get to spend all this time hanging out with your best friend, mm -hmm. and, and you get to meet a lot of exciting new people, and play games, and learn about God. I don't know. Yeah, he's right. Well, I guess we could give it one more try. Oh, yeah. And we could put a desk right here and sit behind it like real show hosts. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? You could really make a difference in the world, and you couldn't do that if you played in an arcade all day. <laughs> we don't really know how to make a real show. We haven't known how to do that for five years! Oh. But hey, listen. Remember what our great Uncle Spaghetti Todd used to say? Yeah. You don't have to unravel the whole bowl of noodles before, before you eat. <laughs> right. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Oh. Oh. Close enough, close enough. You did it! We did it! You yeah. saved oh. the studio! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Jump! Jump, rabbits! What? It's time! Oh. Oh. We have to return you to the future! Okay, okay. Well, uh, John, you know what to do. Yeah. Here, press this button. Sure. Go for it. Oh, oh, one more thing. You have to change the name of the show. It should be called the Sewing. Oh. 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 
Oh, change the name of the show to what? Uh, I don't know. He said the, uh, the, the so and so show or something like that. We'll just use that as a placeholder. Yeah, until we get something way better. It's time for Bible story time with Kellen. Who's Kellen? Hey, hey guys, um, listen, unfortunately something has come up and I can't be with you all today, but don't worry, everything's fine. And I don't wanna leave you all high and dry. So I asked my good friend Cameron and he's gonna take over for me today. All right, take it away, Cameron. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going good. Yeah, yeah, we just time traveled and saved the show. So, you know, pretty good day. What about you, Cameron? Just getting ready for another awesome Bible story. You guys ready? Absolutely. Today, we're learning more about Joseph, whose story is written down in the book of Genesis. Joseph was born into a big family. He had 10 older brothers. His father, Jacob, loved Joseph more than his brothers and treated him extra special. He gave Joseph a beautiful, expensive coat with many colors. Joseph had dreams that one day, his older brothers would bow down to him. So his brothers became angry and jealous of Joseph. One day they teamed up against him, took him away and sold him into slavery to some traders headed for Egypt. Joseph's brothers let their father believe Joseph had been eaten by a wild animal. While he was enslaved, Joseph was accused of something that he didn't do and he was thrown into prison. Joseph spent years in prison forgotten and alone. One person who forgot about Joseph was the Egyptian King Pharaoh's chief wine taster. He'd been in prison with Joseph and Joseph had told him what his dreams meant. But when the wine taster went back to work for the Pharaoh, he forgot all about Joseph until two years later. Pharaoh himself wanted someone to tell him what his dreams meant. The wine taster finally remembered and so Joseph was brought to Pharaoh. Joseph, I've heard that when you hear a dream, you can explain it. I can't do it, but God will give Pharaoh the answer he wants. Pharaoh told Joseph his dreams, one about cows and one about grain. And with God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh what his dreams meant. God has shown you what will happen. Seven good years with plenty of food are coming, but then seven years without enough food will follow. Pharaoh should look for a wise, understanding man to take charge and store some of the food in the good years so there will be food to use later. God has made all this known to you? I'm putting you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Pharaoh gave Joseph the royal ring that he was wearing. He put fine robes around him. He gave Joseph a chariot to ride and made Joseph the second in command. Joseph traveled all throughout Egypt and helped to store grain during the seven plentiful years. Then the seven years of famine, when the land didn't produce any food, began. The famine stretched to all the surrounding lands too. And everyone who was hungry came to Joseph to buy food, including Joseph's brothers. His 10 older brothers traveled from their homeland far away. They bowed down to him just like Joseph dreamed they would. Joseph recognized his brothers, but they did not recognize him, so he pretended to be a stranger. Where do you come from? The land of Canaan. We've come to buy food. You are spies. No, sir. We are all brothers. We've come to buy food. Joseph didn't reveal himself, but he gave his brothers food. And he told them that if they ever came back, they had to bring their youngest brother, Benjamin. When they ran out of food again, they brought Benjamin back to Egypt this time to Joseph's own house. When he saw his brother Benjamin, Joseph could no longer keep his secret hidden. I am your brother, Joseph, who you sold into Egypt. Don't be upset and don't be angry with yourselves because you sold me here. God sent me ahead of you to save many lives. He made me like a father to Pharaoh and a ruler of Egypt. Now go back to my father and tell him everything. Then Joseph hugged each of his brothers and cried over them. Pharaoh set aside the best land in Egypt for Joseph's family. Joseph was finally reunited with his father and Joseph was able to provide for all his family. Joseph had some very hard times. It would have been easy for him to give up, but 
he held on. And God worked out even the worst circumstances for good. In the end, Joseph forgave his brothers and saved their lives. Even when Joseph couldn't see it, God was with Joseph. Joseph could only see his story in parts while he was living it. God could see the bigger story. Whoa. My thoughts exactly. I mean, Joseph's brothers were terrible to him. Yeah, they were. But Joseph didn't give up. God was able to make something good come out of something bad. You know, God's pretty amazing at turning things around. Totally. Great story, Cameron. Bye. Anytime. See ya. I am glad we decided to keep going all those years ago. Otherwise, we would have missed today's story. Yeah, and they would have too. Yeah, everything turned out much better than I expected. So true. So, uh, hey, reveal the question. Oh yeah, that's good. When has something turned out better than you expected? You know, maybe you had a school project you were worried about, but then it went really well. Or uh, you had to go somewhere where you didn't know anyone and you ended up making a friend. Yeah, there are opportunities all the time for God to exceed our expectations. Absolutely. So I hope you'll join us next time. We expect it'll be amazing. <laughs> maybe not that good. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was The So-and-So Show. Boop, boop. That is so much better than the John and Brandon show. Yeah, it should have been the Brandon and John show anyway. Why? Uh, Because my name would have come before yours. How so? Brandon and John. Brandon comes before John when I say it that way. Why? Do you really not understand what I'm... No! That one looks like you. What? That one looks like you. No, I don't see a sheep. So we're still doing this. Hey. Oh, man. We hope you enjoyed this video. Now, parents, if you would like to kind of talk about this a little bit more with your kids, please head over to our website. There's more resources, devotionals, and a discussion guide. And if it's your first time visiting, don't forget to click and subscribe so that you can get updates when new videos are added. That's it. We hope you have a great week. Bye!